and the people we've lost. Memories are the building blocks of our identity. Without them. Maxi! Sweetheart, stop hiding and open the door. How'd you know I was hiding? Ah, uh, well, years of experience. You know, when you were a teenager, I seriously considered taking the lock off your bedroom door, but that would have been a violation of your privacy. Look, I know that you guys want me to go with you to the Metro Court tonight. Luke's, and you can come right in the front door instead of sneaking around the back like you used to. I just, I'm, I'm not up for a party tonight. Honey, are you sure it's one night only? Look, as cool as Luke's was, if I ever got to revisit the past, it's not where I'd go. Bobby, I already told my parents I cannot go tonight. I know. I'm here to change your mind. This is a one-time event. If you miss it, it's gone. And there won't be a do-over. I can't handle going to a party tonight. It's not a party. It's a gathering of friends coming together to help Mike. He's losing his memory. Bobby, everywhere I turn, there are memories of Nathan, of what I lost, what this baby has lost. I don't want those memories. They're too painful. I know you don't mean that. Why not? Because I've lived through it. I know this kind of grief. You want to forget the good times as well as the bad because you think you can't go on, but you can. I did. I did because I know BJ goes on in you. Just like Nathan lives on in his baby. And they wouldn't want you to shut out the world. They'd want you to embrace your future, live your life with joy and purpose. Yeah, but I'm not sure I know how to do that. But I know you'll figure it out. You're a lot stronger than you think. I promise.